Now it's time for us to talk about Leatherface because we finally understand how Leatherface's saw works. Sometimes you stall, sometimes you don't. The UI was broken on it and it was fixed, but then it felt broken. So Gun actually came out and explained how a saw works and we're gonna tell you right now. Leatherface has a UI that showcases how much rev he's using. So that's that little meter, you know, we all know the UI meter. So the rev meter is going to start at 50%. As you rev your chainsaw, you add uh, heat, and as that heat builds up, the meter turns red. But that when usually, I think when the when it turns red, that's when you go overhead. Right, I think so. So that's when you start sprinting, go overhead. So you can build that up, possibly land an overhead attack. That's your big power swing. It is possible to overheat your chainsaw if you continue to rev until the meter's full. When you overheat, you will stall. You'll hear some concerned noises from other faces. Yeah, I think we all generally understand that's how it works. So many Leatherface players start off by keeping their eye on that meter, get a fill of, uh, to get the fill down of when he's about to overheat. So at a certain point, you're able to rev the, to the point where Leatherface will raise up his chainsaw overhead, making it even more dangerous. A player's rev needs to be between 70 and 99% of the meter in order to do so. If you play enough Leatherface, you get used to the sounds and you know when he goes overhead and then you just feather the trigger and you kind of stay in that range to so that you can do those overheads and you can run and you don't care about stamina. So many players are familiar with doing an overhead uh, slam attack, then following up with a melee swing attack, exactly what I do. <laughs> slam and then finish. Yeah, usually after the slam, I rev up to keep, so I don't stall, then I do the, I, I give it a couple seconds. So Leatherfeet's mains have been experienced stalling when doing that. On December 12th of 2023, the patch was added to fix an issue that was present in the UI for Leatherface's uh, chain saw rev we talked about that the ui was previously showing the incorrect amount of rev that a player had built up so that rev meter where you thought it was was not where it actually was simple as that and that has been fixed so they yeah they fixed it yep so here's the intended design this is important so with the overhead and his swing attacks when a player is uh is able to perform a slam attack there's a certain amount of build-up power that gets added back to his saw and is reflected in the rev meter wait so it sounds like as soon as you do that slam you automatically get some more uh, charge in your meter. So it's added back to the saw reflected in the rev meter. That's interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. So what does that mean? It means that the player are awarded a bit of extra chainsaw juice so to speak, for landing that slam attack. So the amount of power that a player is going to get back is going to depend on two things. How close Leatherface is to overheating when doing the slam attack and whether or not the attack hits a victim. That's so, interesting, how close is it is to overheating when doing the slam attack? Do you wanna be closer to- I think you, uh, in my mind, you'd wanna be closer to overheating because that's like you have the most juice in the chainsaw. Because what I think is when you hit that slam, it's a set number that pulls off. Let's say like 75% or we'll say 70 because that's when you go overhead. So say it takes 70 away. If you barely go overhead, it takes 70 away. You might not have no rev. Well, and I feel like I've experienced that in the game where I, I don't even mean to do the slam attack. I accidentally, like I just am revving and I accidentally just hit that point where he just starts to go overhead. It doesn't even go all the way up, so but, I'll, but I'll swing right in that range and it'll do a very fast overhead. And then I stall a lot. Interesting. Yeah, because you have no rev left. Whereas if you did it at 95, then obviously you have some extra there. Yeah. Don't make well, me do well, that. 15? I don't know. They give an example here. So, if, for example, one Leatherface player would do an overhead attack when, they're, when the rev meter is showing 70%, which would be the minimum. They will more than likely get no heat back and still stall out their saw when attempting to do a second swing attack after the overhead strike if they don't take a moment to pause and rev a little more. Shout out to Gun for doing this because this does make it a lot more clear. Cause that's one thing uh, when you start this game being Leatherface, it's intimidating and it's confusing. And as you can see, we've played a lot and I didn't fully understand the mechanics. Let's watch a video. This is from Gun explaining the rev. So it starts off figure one, too low chainsaw rev. There's no talking by the way. So, so watch that little meter go. It's over. Okay. Oh, so okay, pause. So, okay, what they're showing is he goes barely to when he goes overhead, like you were saying, barely about that 70% mark. Uh -huh. He goes overhead, immediately swings, the, does the big slam. Well, then you saw he had almost no rev. Then immediately after that, he tries to do the, the short swing, and that kills his, the rev, and it just, he overheats, or stalls. Right, but again, he did the swing. You don't immediately stall. You, it's that second, the after swing. So that's where I would personally just take the time to rev up, give it a second, then you hit the swing and you'll usually hit him and he hopefully 
take them out, you know? Anyway, so they go on. To be able to successfully do an overhead attack and then swing, players will need to increase their rev. If you rev uh, at 99%, so you're at the max rev you can get, you'll get more power back and you'll be able to swing immediately after without even stalling. So the, yeah, they're gonna explain that's a dangerous risk versus reward mechanic. So the more skilled the player, the more likely not to stall. There's also a built-in calculation, oh no, here we go, which accounts for latency that adds in a little extra rev to the meter. This means that if Leatherface revs close to 99 is able to successfully uh, land an overhead slam attack on a victim, they'll be rewarded with that extra rev so they can uh, also swing. So, so go ahead. Oh, that was simultaneous. Yeah. So basically, the risk is that you're gonna overheat. So if you're if you're pushing it to that top 90, like 95 to 99, there's a good chance you're gonna overheat that saw if you're not paying attention. So that's the risk, but you're gonna get that extra juice back for the finish. Yeah, so you can swing, the big swing, and then finish up with a little side swing. Boom. This is gonna be what we just explained. He's gonna have a very high rev and then do the overhead. So he's revving it up, he goes overhead, he's almost to 99. Big swing, dude, he's got like a, almost a quarter. Dang. Right? Yeah, so that's how Leatherface's chainsaw works. Boom. Boom. You're welcome. Boom, boom, boom.